Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's uh, the uh, middle of September, which is a little bit late to be finding these mushrooms, but they're here nonetheless. And uh, these are the mushrooms I'm talking about. Let's come down here. You've got this one here, the younger one here, another one here, a big fella over there. And then if you come over this way, there's even more of them. You often find these in quite large quantities. And here's the biggest one of the lot. You can see this mushroom here probably weighs about a kilo, maybe more than a kilo, all by himself. Now, unfortunately, this is not an edible mushroom. What I'll do is I'll pick this one to show you the characteristics of this mushroom. <laughs> see, it's a, it's a Belitus mushroom. It's got sponge under the cap like all the Belitus mushrooms that we talk about. Um, when we talk about Belitus mushrooms though, we tell people to stay away from the ones that uh, have red under the cap or on the stem, or that stain blue when you cut through them. And this is one of the ones that doesn't have any red on it, but if I cut it in half, you'll see that it most certainly does this color blue. You can see it happening pretty quickly there, but not as violently as with the, the Loridis or the Loridiformis. Um, this is a mushroom called the Belitus albidus, and it fails the blue stain test. Now, that's why we tell people to leave uh, ones that stain blue alone. This isn't really a highly toxic mushroom. Some people say that uh, when they eat it, they get um, quite ill, quite dizzy, feverish, uh, gastric, but um, it's not a highly toxic mushroom. What it is, is a highly bitter mushroom. You do not want to eat the Belitus albidus. It's like the, uh, the Tylopilus, the bitter belit, or the uh, Belitus calopus, the, the one I did a video on recently. It's a Belitus mushroom that stains blue, so leave it behind. It's a very common late summer mushroom as well. Anyway, if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.